good over here. Uh, we'll get you some questions here. Uh, I'll start with Eric Scopel from 247 Sports. Hey, Jamal. Nice to meet you. Uh, for you, I, I guess, when did you kind of get an inclination Javon might do what he chose to do? And uh, obviously, it's not as much time as you typically would have to prepare for a starting spot. And kind of what were the challenges of, of getting ready for this fall camp or, or the expectations is you're going to have a chance to start this year? Um, I think I found out when the rest of the world found out. But, I mean, I just attacked it. Like, I knew I, knew I was prepared. At this moment, but I just attacked it and just trust my training. I knew my teammates was going to push me every day to make sure I was ready. So, Next question comes from Ryan Thorburn of the Register Guard. Jamal, I was just curious, coming all the way from Georgia to the Pacific Northwest, did you have any culture shock last year? And just how much more comfortable do you feel now um, at Oregon and, and just being in the program? Uh, yeah, I think it was, I definitely had like a little culture shock, but not really towards football season, just more so like the outside of football part. And then, you know, as the football season went on, I kind of got comfortable just, uh, yeah, just learning college football, like it's way different. It's, the speed is different, tempo is definitely different. So just got used to that. Next question, A.J. Jacobson of Rivals. Jamal, your name has come up a number of times in these interviews with coaches and players when we're asking about, you know, who's caught their eye and whatnot. Talk about what's different about you this year and why you're catching so many eyes um, and, and how, how, how you've made this improvement. Um, I think just trusting my coaching, just being way more coachable this year and – trusting my fundamentals and everything that has been instilled in me like before I got to Oregon and the things I've learned since being here and just learning from the older guys really just learning how to practice learning you know the scheme more and just being a sponge every day and just trying to get better every day. Next question comes from James Krapia of the Oregonian. Having a little trouble. There we go. I'll just do it myself, though. Uh, Jamal, uh, Coach Avalos has talked about just how important the nickel position is in, in that defense, and uh, especially going back last year, I mean, we talked about how it's even probably the most important position on the whole defense. How do you view it? And uh, and obviously with Javon moving on, just knowing that that responsibility falls on you for, for this season, just how, how important that position is. Uh, I, I accept the challenge, like, fully. And I know my coaches – and my teammates gonna prepare me each week for whatever challenges we might face. And you feel me? They, I don't think they would put me out there if I wasn't ready. So, next question, Matt Preem, two four seven Sports. Yeah, Jamal, I'm curious. Are you working primarily at Nickel, or are you bouncing around um, a little bit this season? And who else is working with you at Nickelback right now? Uh, yeah, I'm playing the Nickelback right now. Uh, me. Hap and Bennett Williams. Uh, next question, Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. Hey, Jamal, you know, we've obviously only seen one year of Andy Avalos' defense. Javon played the position you're going to play, uh, we think, at nickel this last season. I'm curious for you, kind of, how, are you, how do you differentiate yourself between Javon and maybe what are we going to see at that position that we haven't seen in the past? Um, I mean, I, I can't really, like, pinpoint – like was exactly different about us, but I mean Javon definitely great player. Like that was a great person. I had somebody to really look up to, like watch everything he did on and off the field. But like me personally, I feel like I just, you know, I just play my game. Like I just try to do what my coaches ask me to do and make plays when that time comes. Next question, AJ Jacobson, rivals. I wanted to get your impression on two other sophomores that are in the defensive backfield that were in your class, uh, Steve Stevens and DJ James. What are you seeing out of those two this camp? Uh, we we competitors, like especially like DJ and Steve. Like we our whole defense, we competitors. But out of them two, Steve, like a general back there, is safety. Like he know where everybody's supposed to be. He can put everybody where they need to be. And DJ, that's that's like my right hand dude. Like. 
he a super competitor. He a dog. Like he don't back down from nobody. Don't matter if he tired, you know, anything going on, like he gonna lock in and do what he need to do. And I know I can trust him on the field. I can trust him and Steve on the field at any time. Uh, next question comes from Ashley Young, NBC Sports Northwest. Hey, Jamal, who were some of those guys to take you under their wing last year? And what pieces of advice did they offer in order for you to be successful in this defensive system? Uh, I, like, I feel like I was like the little brother of the whole defense, to be honest. Like, Troy Dye, you know, all those guys, Javon, Ron, Nick Piggy, Diamador, Thomas, you know, all those guys, Jordan. They, they all kind of took me under their wing and they they kind of showed they showed me the ropes for sure like how everything need to be done from meetings to practice to you know what I'm saying how we handle ourselves off the field like they, they really showed me all that next question comes from James Crippia, the Oregonian Jamal, with the, the shorter schedule, a lot of these teams uh, use a lot of two tight end even three tight end sets uh, how do you match up with uh, with at least some of the Oregon tight ends, some of the guys on this offense, because this team has five tight ends too, and also utilizes uh, multi-tight end sets at times. So how do you think you match up, and how do you match up with uh, with the tight ends on this team? Good. I mean, I feel, I trust I trust my skill set against anybody my coach feel like he need me to guard, to be honest. Next question, Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. Another one for you, Jamal. I guess, well, what's your history with this nickel position when you were recruited by Oregon? Uh, was that the position they had you kind of slotted for, or, or is that something you figured out when you got here and kind of how quickly have you adjusted? Um, to be honest, like, uh, they, they they told me, like, during recruiting, like, they wanted me to play the nickel spot, but I didn't really know what it was. Like, I knew it was a safety, but I knew I was going to be moving around, like, towards the box, like, around the box and stuff like that. But, like, when I got here and, like, seeing Vaughn do it, I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, I can do that for sure. Next question, Warren Williamson from Oregon Duck Football News. Jamal, we talked to Steve Stevens just a little bit ago before you came on, and I asked him about film study. He said he really didn't do a lot of film study in high school, and I'm just wondering how valuable that is for you as a teaching tool as you go into your freshman and your sophomore year. and, and What's the process of learning to watch film and then take that to the field? Yeah, like high school, I was a guy like, like my natural, my God given abilities, like I could just go play and make plays. But definitely like my freshman year, it kind of hit me in the face. Like, yeah, like if you don't watch film, you're not going to be able to move as fast as you want to on at practice and games and any of that. So definitely like from for me, from year one to year two, I like I live in the playbook. Like it was like during this quarantine, it was like times I didn't sleep because I was just in my playbook, like just football twenty four seven, and it definitely show up on the field. Next question comes from Brandon Gibson from Rivals. Hey Jamal, coming all the way across the country from Georgia, is there any advice you'd give to other student athletes that are um, coming from long distance, uh, wanting to be ducks? Come be a part of something great. Like the culture here is, is it was different from anything I ever felt like at any school I ever visited. Like it's not, it's not for cameras. It's not like for the rah rah. It's not for the uniforms. It's like you got to really be around it and hear it. Like because it's like every day. Like we don't, our culture don't take a break. Like we hold each other to a high standard, and we don't let that standard slip for nobody. Like no matter who you is. Next question, Ashley Young, NBC Sports Northwest. Jamal, another one of those guys that's going into his second year is Michael Wright. Um, just wondering if you've seen any differences with him from year one to year two so far. Michael is, Michael is a guy. Like, he, I don't know, I can't really, like, just pinpoint, like, a major difference in his game because he he been a baller since I met him. So, I mean... I can't really tell you that we just kind of see on Saturdays. Looks like that's all we have for you, Jamal. Appreciate your time. All right. Thank you.